today we're going to be learning how to do a slip knot and make a chain to start any one of our um, crochet projects. So what I'm using today is a double knit yarn. This one is from Women's Institute, you can get at Hobby Craft. Um, and the recommended uh, crochet hook size for this is a four millimeter hook. Whichever um, yarn you're using, just check the label and it will tell you exactly which size to use, as you can see. It says four millimeters there. I'm going to move that out of the way for the moment. So what we're looking for is to find the end of the yarn and we're going to start by making that slip knot. So the easiest way to do that is to take the tail in your left hand, bring a loop over the front and just kind of pinch it between there. There's the working yarn at the back here and literally just reach through, bring it through and pull down and that creates your slip knot. We'll do that again just to be safe. So with your tail yarn in your left hand, you bring that loop round and just pinch it there, put that yarn behind and just bring it through that loop. And then you can pop that onto your hook, just like that. And then you just pull on the working yarn just to do that. I'll move that out of the way. So once we have our slip knot onto our hook, it creates that first hook there that we need. So what we're going to be doing is to be starting to chain. So your pattern will tell you how many chains you need to make. But when you're practicing, just keep doing them until they're all the even size. So to do the best way that I've found to do it is just to kind of pinch the knot between my third finger and my thumb and just bring that yarn over, pinch that knot, tilt that hook down so it catches that yarn and just bring it through that loop on your hook. And that's your first chain. So yarn over the hook, pinch the knot, tilt that hook down and bring that hook through. So yarn over the hook and bring it through. And as you can see, it's starting to create a chain there. So just yarn over and bring it through the loop on your hook. As simple as that. Now you may find that when you're starting, your chain is, in, is very tight. And that's something that you want to avoid because you do need to work it back the other way. So you can just keep practicing making those chains just by literally bringing the yarn over the hook and through the loop on your hook. If you want to start again, simply remove your hook and just pull and it'll all come undone and you can start again. So we'll make another slip knot. So with the tail end in your left hand, bring that loop round, pinch it between, bring that working yarn back through and just pull to create your slip knot and then pass your hook through and pull on the working yarn and it will tighten it onto your hook. So yarn over the hook, put that hook down and it will just catch the yarn to bring it through. Yarn over the hook, bring it through that loop on your hook. So you can go and make as many chains as you want to or as many as your pattern needs you to make to start.